Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. This is truly a rare treat for my channel. I reached out to Acme Shoemaker, really a top-end brand in current modern men's classic dress wear and dress shoes. Acme excels at high quality, innovative design done entirely by hand. These are hand welted, hand lasted, hand bottomed with hand sewn out soles. That is the level of quality you're getting from Acme. You can see all of the details of the model that I chose. This is a chukka boot made on their A20 last using a light brown hatch grain leather. And uh, the code for production is this. This is the 518th pair of shoes that Acme has made, and that's designated by this code right here. Acme came onto the scene about three to four years ago, offering a unique combination of ready-to-wear and MTO offerings of very elegant, beautiful designs and skill and craftsmanship at the level of bespoke makers. You can see the box here. It almost has a matte finish, so it actually does acquire little scuffs fairly easy. Next, you can see the bubble wrap that hides a pair of bags here with the Acme logo on each of the bags. This is a herringbone patterned, feels like almost a wool material. Uh, yep, I think it is probably a wool material uh, bag with purple drawstrings and a um, unique uh, waxed tip right here from Acme Shoemaker. And here we are. This is a boot that has received the most likes of almost any pair of shoes on my Instagram in the past six months to a year because it to me represents the idyllic form, shape, and style of the chukka boot. This is potentially the cleanest, most beautiful chukka that I've seen. It's got a beautiful shape with three eyelets. I prefer chukkas with three eyelets. They feel more secure on my feet. It has Acme's classic bottom work, including the gently tapered heel with an elegant leather stack, a blind stitched waist with an offset between the waist and the heel block, and a piano black finish to the base of the shoe with a little rubber stopper on the backside a gentle scallop to the heel, which complements the shape of the base of the shoe. Very clean work done on the outsole stitching, which is at about, I'd say between 10 and 12 stitches per inch. This model has a more notable fudging pattern, the serrated edge to the edge of the outsole where the stitching is essentially echoed in the pattern of the fudging. So if you measured the frequency of fudge marks or hatches along this here. That'll give you a good idea for the stitch density, which is typically measured in stitches per inch. Acme has applied a very nice, high shine, slightly burnished, darkened wax polish to the tip of this shoe. And they've done a really nice job stretching the leather ever so slightly to preserve the grain structure, yet smooth it out, which allows for a high shine finish. Here you can see how neat the heel block is and the gentle taper is in respect to the upper leather here. There's really no step off. It's very elegantly done with a very gentle profile, both from the back as well as from the side that you can see here. The waist, while it has this rounded profile, hides very well on the side of the shoe. Sometimes you'll see more of a pronounced uh, shape to either a fiddleback or rounded base of the shoe and this hides it really well and we pull in to see the details here on the stitching of the upper i believe they do their stitching by machine uh, but a very clean job with incredibly a high stitch density to the work done on the upper here now this a20 last has some really neat character to it this as you can see is a round toed last kind of a classic round toe has a slight asymmetry to it done elegantly with a slightly broader lateral aspect of the shoe compared to the medial aspect here. They've used a dark brown edge dressing to complement this mid-brown hatch grain. The mid-brown hatch grain actually has a, a subtle red undertones to it, almost red-orange coloring to it, and the burnishing has made it slightly darker, which I really like overall. You can see the very neat work done 
along the top of the heel block with a fudge wheel to create that little serrated pattern here on the edge of that waist, which if you pull up closely is very cleanly designed. As I put this second pair up for exhibit here, you can see the similar beautiful elegant shape, the very high shine job done to polish the tip of the upper as well as the heel block the very clean work done on the shoe. I will say that this back heel counter, if we put one shoe up next to the other, has a nice symmetry to it. This is the nicest pair of Chukka boots I own. And I would argue that outside of bespoke made shoes contoured the individual specific foot measurements, this is the nicest Chukka you can own. Certainly. All of those details are important, but it's the synthesis of those details that really makes this the nicest chukka in the world. Acme represents the highest quality of skill and craftsmanship as well as execution of those details that I've ever encountered. There are many that compete. This mainline Acme shoe, this represents their highest level of skill and craftsmanship. And other brands get close, and we'll take a deeper dive into how close and whether it's worth the investment in a pair of Acme shoes or to go in a different direction should you choose. Ultimately, the decision is yours, but I will say that I'm incredibly pleased because this is the nicest ready to wear chukka boot in the world. Have a good one, take care, and I'll see you at the next video.